So in this episode, I want to look at how you do point collisions. And basically, what you should be thinking about when we're thinking point collisions is like if you have a bullet on the screen and it, you want to check to see if it strikes another target or if we're checking to see if the mouse has clicked on an object. In fact, we're going to take that last example and use that as uh, the example that we're going to use here. So I'm going to take the mouse program that we implemented uh, in a previous episode and I want to modify it uh, to check to see if I've clicked inside a circle. Now, currently the program checks to see uh, where I've clicked and it moves a circle to that location. So instead of moving the circle to that location, what I want to do is check to see if we clicked inside the circle and then we'll randomly relocate the circle. So here, uh, just to remind you of what we have, uh, in, we have our uh, event loop, we're checking for the mouse motion and this um, mouse button up. And when we do that, uh, we get this event position. Uh, and we're setting the center of the rectangle around the circle uh, to that location. So what we want to do instead is we're going to ask to see if that rectangle called RECT, uh, if whether or not where we've clicked the mouse is inside that rectangle and then if it is then we're going to relocate it to another position so let's look at how we would do that so the first thing to do is check to see if we've uh, clicked in that location so that there's a function on the pygame rectangle class called collide point and that's what we're going to use so i'm going to say rectangle dot collide point and we're going to use that position of the mouse. Okay? And then we're going to change this into a question. So I'm going to say if the rectangle collide point at that event position is true, that means that we've clicked inside that circle. Okay? And then what we want to do is we're going to relocate that circle to a new location. Well, how are we going to do that? Uh, I want to select a random number. Uh, and we're going to say x equals random dot rand range and let's see we want to do it based on the width and height of the screen so again we have the variables width and height width and random dot rand range and we're going to set the rectangle to this new location. So I'm going to say uh, rectangle center equals x y. All right. Now uh, I did use this random uh, number generator. In order to do that, we have to actually go import the random class. Let's test this out. Okay, so now you see the circle on the screen. If I click in it, it goes to another location. Okay, I didn't go too far. And so you can imagine that uh, we can turn this into a neat little game. Uh, now, what would make this more interesting is if you were to give this uh, circle motion. And if you look back at uh, the first episode we did on graphics, where you have the box bounding green on the screen, try adding this to that where you click inside the box as it's moving and have it relocate based on that. Uh, and you'll see that uh, you can actually create some pretty interesting games with this. Uh, we'll look at another way to do this in the future where we'll add multiple objects on the screen uh, and see how we can use the collision to make an interesting game with that. As always, thank you, have fun, and enjoy programming.